let me show you how to repot our asparagus fern. There are various signs that we can look for in order to make sure that our asparagus fern needs repotting. And the first sign is the leaves. If you see that the leaves are turning yellow, this is a very good sign that your plant is under stress. And this stress may be a result of your plant needing more space. But before we get to repotting, let's look at the other signs just to make sure. The rest of the signs are actually on the roots. If you see that the roots of your plant are showing up on the surface of your potting mix, this can be a sign that your plant needs repotting. Also, if the roots are growing through the drainage holes and coming out of the pot, this is a pretty telling sign that your plant needs more space to grow. And the last thing that you can look for is if the roots are growing around the potting mix. This shows that the plant is getting root bound and it's a great sign to confirm that your plant indeed needs repotting. Now, if you do see that your plant needs more space, what I would strongly recommend is that you use a pot that is maximum one to two sizes bigger. This is because if we put our plant in a very big pot, she will not be able to absorb all the water that we give her when we're watering her, and this will lead to overwatering. As I said, I'm using a pot that is one size bigger than the previous pot. And this one is terracotta, so I'm moving my plant from a plastic pot to a terracotta pot. This is because I really like how terracotta looks. It's a very sustainable material and one very good thing about it is that it's porous. So oxygen can travel through the material really easily and this is very good for the roots of our plants. Another important thing to know is that this pot has a drainage hole. Uh, as a plant beginner, I like to get pots that have drainage holes because these help me prevent overwatering my plants. Once I'm done watering them, I let the excess water drain down through the drainage holes and that way I make sure that the soil is moist but not wet. The first thing that we're going to do is to take our plant out of the pot. And we want to take it out really slowly so we don't shock our plant. So what I usually do is I press a little bit of the pot just to ease the roots out. And then you want to pull it really carefully. And now what we're going to do is to massage the roots out of the soil. So this, we want to do it really carefully so we don't stress the roots so much. And yeah, so we just try to massage it with our fingers. And I like to do this right on top of the soil that I'm going to use after, so we can reuse some of the soil as well. Last time that I repotted this asparagus fern, I put some of these clay pebbles at the bottom for some drainage, and that's what we see here. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is to add some soil to the bottom of our pot. This is to provide some cushion and support to the roots. And I am using the potting mix that I make here at home. This one has coconut coir, worm castings, and pumice. I use this one for all of my tropical plants and they seem to be really happy. On top of that, of course, we have the clay pebbles that we had at the bottom of the previous pot. So this time I'm gonna mix them in my potting mix and they will provide drainage as well as humidity balance in the mix. Once we have our cushion of soil, we're going to place our plant right in the center. So in the previous video that I made with this plant, I put this one a little bit on the side so this time I'm really going to try to put it at the center of the pot so the growth of the root is more balanced. And we are going to add more soil just to cover all of the roots. We want to press a little bit really gently, but this is also going to help us prevent air pockets in the potting mix. So we're going to add a little bit more soil just to give it a little bit of extra support and press a little bit. We will also add some water so the soil settles down and to make sure that we really prevent any air pockets in the potting mix. And it is as easy as that. If you want to repot any other plant with me, make sure to check out my repotting playlist where I have many other plants. If I have not repotted your plant, make sure to comment below and I will make sure to make a video so we can repot together. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Okay, ciao! <laughs>